Welcome. Today, we're going to explore the fantastic features of AOMEI Backupper, a comprehensive backup and recovery software that ensures the safety and security of your valuable data. Whether you're a home user or a business professional, AOMEI Backupper has got you covered. Let's dive into the various functions it offers. First of all, we need to download the software. So we head to ubackup.com to get it. AOMEI is a software company specializing in backup, restore, and disk management solutions. Established in 2010, they have rapidly gained recognition for their reliable and user-friendly products designed to help individuals and businesses protect and manage their data effectively. The company's flagship product, AOMEI Backupper, offers comprehensive backup and recovery capabilities, allowing users to safeguard their operating systems, files, partitions, and disks with ease. Their commitment to innovation and customer satisfaction has made it a trusted name in the industry, catering to a global customer base. Additionally, the company provides other software solutions like Partition Assistant, OneKey Recovery, and PE Builder, further enhancing its reputation as a reliable provider of data management software. Now, let's download the software and get started. Our comprehensive guide will cover various backup and restore options available in the software, along with exploring its other useful features. With AOMEI Backupper, you'll learn how to safeguard your data effectively, ensuring you have a reliable backup plan in place for any unforeseen circumstances. Upon launching the software we land on the first page which has two options. New Backup and New Sync. Let's start with the new backup option. Select System Backup. Select a destination. We will use a network folder for this demo. Set up your network folder accordingly. When you are ready, click the Start Backup to start the process. Click below the counter for a live view progress of the job. You can keep an eye here to see what the software is currently doing and how much data has been processed. Now, let's complete a disk backup. We will use an external USB disk for this. Just select the source drive, the destination, and finally hit the Start Backup button. Now wait for the process to complete. Next, we are going to perform a partition backup. Same as before, select a source and a destination. You can select more than one partitions to include in the backup. When ready, just hit the Start Backup button. Now, we will demonstrate the file backup option of the software. Simply, select a source folder or file and then choose your destination and the application will do the rest. What do you think of the software so far? Let us know in the comments below. We will now demonstrate the restoration capabilities. We will perform a full system restore first. For that we need to have a bootable USB created with the software. You can create the drive from the tools menu. Select Windows PE. Then, select USB device. Caution. The USB drive will be wiped so please make sure there is nothing important on it. Now, restart the device and boot from the USB drive. We will enter the restoration environment. Select Restore from the left, then click on Select Image File. Navigate to the backup you want to use. In this case our backup is stored in a network folder. Leave everything to default and click Next. Hit the Start Restore button to initiate the process. The computer will reboot after this. Log on to check that everything works fine. You have successfully restored your device. Now, we will use the Disk Restore function. Click Restore on the left side menu. Then, select the backup file you want to use. Choose your destination. Remember, the destination drive will be wiped. If you are restoring to an SSD drive, remember to check the SSD alignment option. This will speed up the process. Finally hit the Start Restore button. The next one on our list is the Partition Restore procedure. 
Once again, click Restore on the left and select the backup file you want to use. Choose the partition you need to restore. Choose the destination, and finally click Start. Remember to click SSD Alignment if you are restoring to an SSD drive. Next one is the file restore process. We are going to delete some folders from the system and then we will try to restore them back. Again, select the backup file you want to use. Find the appropriate files you need restored. Select the original restore location and click start. After this step, the files should be back to their original location. Data cloning is a procedure used to duplicate entire disks or individual partitions. To use it, select Disk Clone. As usual, select the source disk and the destination disk. Remember the SSD alignment option. It becomes particularly useful when there is a need to replace the system drive due to various reasons, such as upgrading from a hard disk to an SSD or transitioning to a larger capacity drive. Now, shut down your PC and replace your drive. Turn it back on, and see the results. You have successfully cloned your old drive to the new one. Next, we are going to use partition cloning. As the title implies, we will clone only part of the source disk and not all of it. Just wait for the process to complete. Now, Check that the two partitions are identical. Last thing is the disk wiping process. Click Tools and then select Disk Wipe. Click Wipe Disk. Choose the disk you want to wipe and click Next. This is a long process, and depending on the type and capacity of the drive, it might take from several minutes to several hours to complete. Be patient when you perform this procedure. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know about your experience with this software. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. See you on the next video.